Grateful to Almighty God, see the free exercise of the right to choose our form of government. That is only known in Christian circles. Iowa, 1857. We, the people of the state of Iowa, grateful to the Supreme Being for the blessings hitherto enjoyed and feeling our dependence on Him for continuation of those blessings, establish this Constitution. What an amazing statement exercised by these states. Kentucky, 1891. We, the people of the Commonwealth, are grateful to Almighty God for the civil, political, and religious liberties. Louisiana, 1821, we the people of the state of Louisiana, grateful to Almighty God for the civil, political, and religious liberties we enjoy. Same. Maine, 1820, we the people of Maine acknowledge with grateful hearts the goodness of the sovereign ruler of the universe in affording us an opportunity and imploring his aid and direction. Maryland, 1776, I like that year. We, the people of the state of Maryland, grateful to Almighty God for our civil and religious liberty. Massachusetts, 1780. We, the people of Massachusetts, acknowledging with grateful hearts. Now remember, not to the pagan gods of the Indians who had settled in their time, but had not civilized that state even though the state was named after certain Indians, this Constitution was named in reference to the God of the Bible. We, the people of Massachusetts, acknowledging with grateful hearts the goodness of the great legislator of the universe in the course of his providence, an opportunity, and devotely imploring his direction. I like that. Michigan, 1908. We, the people of the state of Michigan, Grateful to Almighty God for the blessings of freedom, establish this Constitution. Minnesota, we the people of the state of Minnesota, grateful to God for our civil and religious liberty and desiring to perpetuate its blessings. We need to remember that in this day when we're losing many of our liberties and deliberately acquiescing to temporary benefits and the loss of liberties for our posterity. Need to remember this. Mississippi. 1890, we the people of Mississippi, in convention assembled, grateful to Almighty God and invoking His blessings on our work. Missouri, 1845, we the people of Missouri, with profound reverence for the supreme ruler of the universe and grateful for His goodness, established this Constitution. Montana, 1889. We, the people of Montana, grateful to Almighty God for the blessings of liberty, establish this Constitution. Nebraska, 1875. We, the people, grateful to Almighty God for our freedom, establish this Constitution. Nevada, 1864. We, the people of the state of Nevada, grateful to Almighty God for our freedom, establish this Constitution. New Hampshire. Every individual has a natural and inalienable right to worship God according to the dictates of his own conscience. And that God is a reference to the God of the Bible. New Jersey, 1844. Grateful to Almighty God for civil and religious liberty, which he hath so long permitted us to enjoy, and looking to him for a blessing on our endeavors. New Mexico, we the people of New Mexico, grateful to Almighty God for the blessings of liberty. New York, 1846. The people of the state of New York, grateful to Almighty God for our freedom in order to secure its blessings. North Carolina, 1868. We the people, grateful to Almighty God, the sovereign ruler of nations, for our civil, political, and religious liberties, and acknowledging our dependence upon him for the continuance of those, and he alone will grant those. North Dakota, 1889. We the people of North Dakota, grateful to Almighty God for his blessings of civil and religious liberty do ordain. Ohio, 1852. Grateful to Almighty God for our freedom to secure its blessings and to promote our common benefits. Oklahoma, 1907, invoking the guidance of Almighty God in order to secure and perpetuate the blessings of liberty, establish this Constitution. Oregon, 1857, all men shall be secure in the national right to worship God Almighty according to the dictates of their conscience. Pennsylvania, 
1776, we the people of Pennsylvania, grateful to Almighty God for the blessings of civil and religious liberty and humbly invoking His guidance. Rhode Island, 1842, grateful to Almighty God for the civil and religious liberty which He hath so long permitted us to enjoy and looking to Him for blessings. South Carolina, 1778. Grateful to God for our liberties to ordain and establish this Constitution. South Dakota, 1889. Almighty God, grateful to Almighty God for our civil and religious liberties. Tennessee, 1796. That all men may have a natural and indefeasible right to worship Almighty God according to the dictates of their conscience. Texas, 1845. We, the people of the Republic of Texas, acknowledge with gratitude, the grace and beneficence of God. Utah, 1896, grateful to Almighty God for life and liberty, we established this Constitution. Vermont, 1777, to enable the individuals to, who compose it to enjoy their natural rights and blessings from the author of existence, our Creator has bestowed upon man. Virginia, 1776, religion or the duty which we owe our Creator can be directed only by reason, and that is the mutual duty of all to practice Christian forbearance, love, and charity toward each other. Washington, 1889, grateful to the supreme ruler of the universe. West Virginia, divine providence. Wisconsin, grateful to Almighty God. Wyoming, the people of the state of Wyoming, grateful to God for our civil, political, and religious liberties, established this Constitution. And again, Virginia in 1776 set the standard, the mutual duty of all to practice Christian forbearance. That was the foundation of the constitutions of each state in the United States. Now, that foundation came from a book. That book through the ages has led men to civility, has transformed the criminal into a saint. That book is the Holy Bible. In its pages, it forecasts and then presents the Messiah, Jesus Christ, who lived his life, invited us to know him, went to the cross, died for our sins, arose from the grave, and at this moment, states, Behold, I stand at the heart's door and knock. If any man will open the door, I will come in, will sup with him, and he with me. Would you at this moment just pray this simple prayer? Pray it with me, humbly from your heart. Just pray this prayer. Dear God, I'm a sinner. I need you. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Right now, I open my heart's door to you. Come in right now. Save me. Cover me with your blood. And I will serve you with all my heart. If you prayed that simple prayer, the liberty that our forefathers knew in Christ, you now know for all eternity. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Information like you've received today is available at the Creation Evidence Museum. In printed form, in videos, we even have a coloring book for the kids. Just call or write us at Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, area code 254-897-3200, or check us out on the web, creationevidence.org.